Hi, I'm your host, Vasco Duart. Welcome to the Scrum Master Toolbox podcast, where we share tips and tricks from Scrum Masters around the world. Every day, we bring you inspiring answers to important questions that all Scrum Masters face day after day. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Success Thursday this week with Med Marwan. Hi, Med Marwan. Welcome back. Hi, Vasco. A real pleasure to be here again. Thank you for the invitation. Absolutely. So um, on Success Thursday, obviously, we, we talk about success, but we always start by asking our guests, what's your favorite retrospective format and why? Well, as you know, uh, I am the founder of Jedi Squad. So Jedi Squad. So my favorite retrospective is Star Wars, Star Wars retrospective. And um, I like to to tease the teams, okay, where is the dark side and where is the light side? And uh, also invite them to reflect what are the superpowers that they could be using to spread more light in, in, their, in, in their work environment, in their teams, in their product. So this is my favorite. This is my favorite retrospective. Star Wars uh, retrospective. Absolutely. And uh, uh, besides the uh, superpowers and, and describing what are the forces of dark, uh, what are some of the other metaphors that you use from Star Wars when, uh, when facilitating the retrospective? I use uh, different, different questions. It depends, but I try to promote like, uh, different values like uh, courage, transparency, uh, what it could be done to... Um, uh, enhance like the um, the teamwork uh, because I talk about the constellation, not about the stars. Uh, what make us a, a star alone, and what will make us as a constellation, as a team? So I think um, focusing on the teamwork and that we all uh, in the team are like uh, stars is really important. So also the people they know that they. They will not shine if their team is not shining. I mean, they shine all together or they are not shining. So that's the... So uh, now I'm curious. Uh, do you ask the team to name who's the Darth Vader in their organization? <laughs> well, uh, no, to be honest, I never did that because I try to not, uh, you know, to not see what... But, but anyway, if it's a tool or if it's a process, yes, you know. Uh, it could be done, uh, so it, it's a good idea. Maybe for the next uh, for the next one. <laughs> Absolutely, that's a Thank that's you. an idea to try out. All right, Med Marwan. Now we turn our attention to success because, of course, uh, the reason why we want to learn and we want to use retrospectives is that we want to help uh, others succeed, and we want, of course, therefore, also be successful as Scrum Master. So, uh, uh, talk. Talk us through what success means for you. What, how do you define it and how do you measure it? How do you convey it to your teams? What, what is success for a Scrum Master in your mind? For me, uh, it's, a, it's a really good question. Uh, I would say helping, as the agile methods are really human-centric, I would say that helping humans to be the better version of themselves that they are really proud of the work they are accomplishing all together and they are living the vibrant experiences together. So Once definitely you... that, that Spanish adventure uh, shaped your understanding and your, your vision of the Scrum Master role, which is great. Uh, we were talking on, on, uh, on Monday about the, the uh, Agile what, what, how did you call agile it? Agile Star Team, yeah. Yeah, and, and it was like uh, Agile Being or something like that. I, I don't recall yeah, anymore. The being. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the being, exactly. So, uh, of course, uh, we, we are all in a, in a journey, right? Or on a journey. And we are all trying to figure out, okay, but what does that mean for me? Like, how, how, do, how do I know that I am being human-centric, that I am helping create an environment where people can be uh, more human, as you said. So what, what are the things that you look for? Like, you know, I don't know, every, every Friday or, or every Monday when you do your reflection, what is it that you're looking at? What, what are the signs you're looking for that tell you that you are progressing towards that vision? Yes, I think uh, 
uh, I started working with some coaches and some of them, they came to me one day and they asked me about feedback. Okay, we work together one week, two weeks. Please provide me some feedback. How do you, how do you see my interactions? Uh, what are the points uh, that I think you can, that you think that I could improve? And with so much uh, humility, they were being so humble. Uh, and I think uh, this is like a soft skill that is really important. And uh, as you know, Vasco, in Agile, we try to learn empirically by experience. So we have like action and we have reflections based on the feedback. So as often as we ask for feedback, we understand uh, we understand what is expected from us from, from in, in some environment. We understand also that uh, our attitude is really crucial. And I like a formula here, which is attitude multiplied the the skills and the knowledge. That means that the impact we are causing are much more related to attitude than our hard skills or our knowledge. So attitude is a key. Attitude is a key. So I, I, I can imagine you thinking, okay, so of course that has to do with the attitude of the scrum master. That seems kind of obvious. So do I present the right attitude? Do I come do I show up as as people often say, do I show up in a way that helps the team succeed? Um, but uh, how, how do you look at attitude when it comes to to the team as a whole, so as an entity, but also uh, as a set of individuals? Like, how, what are your approaches to evaluate your impact on the rest of the team's attitude? I see, for instance, that when some uh, team member is uh, stuck, the other one offering help and moving quickly to help, I would say the 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 word help here is really meaningful because when they help you, you help them. And then when you are in there, you know, holding their back, they are holding your back too. And it's there when all the magic happens. The highly collaborative environment is built, our team is built, and then together uh, they can do they can do magic things. Yeah, is collaboration emerging in the team? I think that's a great question for us to to ask ourselves because at the end of the day, we are there to help the team win on its own, right? It's not we who help them win, it's themselves who help themselves win. Yeah. Uh, that's a, a great point. Thank you for sharing that, Med Marwan. Thanks to you for the invitation. Part of a successful Scrum Master job is to help the product owner. Tomorrow we explore that critical role in Scrum, the product owner role. Tune in to learn about product owner anti-patterns, what you can do to help the product owner, and a real life example of what a great product owner is and what made it so. Tomorrow on our Friday product owner episode. See you tomorrow. We really hope you liked our show. And if you did, why not rate this podcast on Stitcher or iTunes? Share this podcast and let other Scrum Masters know about this valuable resource for their work. Remember that sharing is caring.